In March of 2021, the Great Wave of Kanagawa by Katsushika Hoksa recorded the highest price of $1.59 million at the auction of Christine's New York. In the Paris Expo held in 1867, it is recorded that over 5,000 ukiyo-e were displayed. However, there is no record of where these ukiyo-e went after the Expo. It is estimated that participants from Japan gave out or sold all of ukiyo-e there. For the Japanese, ukiyo-e was not so precious. It was made for commercial purposes and ordinary people could get it anytime with the price of several dollars. Beyond the expectation of Japan, ukiyo-e influenced the world and now it has become one of the representatives of Japanese art. Which element of ukiyo-e was so fascinating to the Western world, and how did they affect artists? In this video, I would like to focus on the comparison of paintings between Edward Manette and several ukiyo-e to see the impact. Edward Manette is a French modernist painter. He is one of the 19th century artists to paint modern life, as well as a leading figure in the transition from realism to impressionism. A year before the expo, he painted portrait of a Zachary Astruc. On the desk, there is a book which looks like it was imported from Japan. Even though it is not identified which book this is, we can see that Manet was interested in Japanese re. As he painted the view of the Paris Expo in 1867, it seems that he also saw ukiyo-e there. The next year, he painted portrait of Emile Zola. There is a ukiyo-e posted on the wall. This is the small wrestler of O Naruto Nadaemon by Kutagawa Kuniaki. There are several versions of this ukiyo-e because once it becomes popular, it tends to replicate with a different design. Thanks to his ability to depict realistically, it was easy to identify. By the way, can you find his signature in this painting? The answer is here. The signature of Mane is written as the title of the book. In Japan, we call it Kakushi Rakkan, and it was often seen in ukiyo-e. For example, this is the painting I used for the opening. This is painted by the daughter of Katsushika Hokusai, Oi. She signs in three lanterns so that we are not disturbed by the signature. The next painting is the rest portrait of Berth Morisot. It is difficult to see, but there is a painting on the wall. It is still controversial which ukiyo-e is painted, but one of the candidates is Ryugu Tamatori Hime no Zu by Utagawa Kuniyoshi. The woman is on the left side and these wavy lines seem like a dragon. Other than Manet, Gustav Morrow left his artwork of copying ukiyo-e. He copied the print of Utagawa Kunikiyo. The web on the wen holes is slightly different from the original print. Moreau might have thought that this weapon is like a bee hook, even though several weapons are actually crossed over. Not only Edouard Manet and Gustav Moreau, there are more artists who were influenced by Japonism. In the next video, I would like to introduce other artists, mainly of post-impressionism. This is the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and leave me a comment, even a short one. It is a great pleasure if you give me a big thumbs up. I shall see you in my next video.